Hello, everybody. Happy Thursday night. It's it's uh, late. It's like going on 10. But, um, I mean, that's late, but I usually do mine in the daytime. I hope you're having a great day. Um, Jeopardy was exciting again today. I have such a great life. It was a very tiring day. We went to visit our friend that's in the hospital. He is doing much better. He is not by any means going to run the Boston Marathon, but he is doing a lot better. And what else? I, oh, and I went. Oh, I wish I had a product in here. I went to my first, what do they call it? They just call it the knitting group. I mean, but they do all kinds of things. Well, I was going to start crocheting. And then they were showing me these little looms, these knitting looms. So I started making this baby hat because we have a um, hat tree, uh, mitten and hat tree at Christmas time. So I started making this baby hat. And uh, I was <laughs> moving right along and they said, no, go ahead, bring it, take it home with you. So I brought it home with me and I was going to show you I have my own. Uh, I got it, it was in the video yesterday, I got that cute flamingo bag from um, um, Margaret and so I thought I'd use that for my my knitting bag so I was all excited and you just keep looping over and stuff so uh, yeah so that's my new project uh, amongst all my other see you can only see right here but if you could see all around me all the projects going on like this is one, this is one, it got knocked over and broke, I glued it, and I want to do something with this. Just little projects everywhere. So, and then this is one, this is my homework, this is my Kindle Fire that I looked at and uh, said, do I want to do it tonight? No. So I'm going to try to really get a good fresh start on it in the morning, get it done tomorrow because... Tomorrow evening, I'm going to go to, uh, my daughter's picking me up, and we're going to up to Michigan for my granddaughter Tori's graduation from college. And uh, then we got to get back in the car shortly thereafter and come back because Becky has to work tomorrow night, Saturday night. So, um, yeah, so that should be a lot of fun. I'm sure it's going to be, I, I feel for Becky that she has to do all the driving and everything else, but that's the way it goes. So anyway, um, I have a small Dollar Tree haul here, and I wanted to do it, show you guys. I have a couple things I wanted to use out of it, and it's sitting here, isn't, I, I'm not getting to use it. So I'm going to do my best, and of course, you know the... You know the routine. Bags are tied because of things falling out. Now, and I went to the store where they pack things like morons. So, um, I did pick up a new cable. This one, I believe, is pink. Or red. Maybe red. A new Type-C USB cable for in our car. One of them didn't work that I bought. So maybe this one will. One of them did. One of them didn't. I'd like to have two of them for more traveling so we can each plug in our phone if we need to. I got four boxes of Kleenex. This is one of them. I am not going to show you all four. I got I don't remember how many. This is Van Camp's Chicken of the Sea Chunk white albacore tuna in water. A dollar for a can of albacore tuna is a, a bargain and a half. And I uh, bought only like two or three of them the last time I saw them at a different store. And I could have bought even more than I did to, but I yesterday. But I thought, oh, I don't want to be a pig about it. So I got, let's see, five, six. I think that's all I got, six. So that's pretty good. That's a pretty good one there. And 
It would be nice if they had bigger bags and they put all the Kleenex in one bag, but that would be way, way too easy, right? All right, that was some Kleenex. These I got, one for me and one for Ron. Um, I just saw uh, Pam from Pam's Life hauling hers. These are the exfoliating foot masks. Peels away calluses and dead skin cells. Exfoliates and moisturizes. Convenient wearable mask socks. And there's one pair. So when I get back from Wisconsin, or Wisconsin, Michigan, next week, Ron and I are going to exfoliate our feet. And... <laughs> My sock obsession is real, folks. I did not find the um, uh, pyro ones, but I did find the doggy ones. I had to have them. They're men's socks, but I'll wear them anyway. This is, oh, not that. This is one of the items I was wanting to use. My lips are so cracked, and I just, none of the chapsticks I have really work. The only thing that really works is Carmex. So I bought me a new Carmex. My daughter bought me one when I was in the hospital. I didn't even make it home with it. It must have fell and I never got it again. Um, hang on one minute, guys. I'm back. I let him out of the door because he wanted out and then next thing I know he's pushing the door back open. Uh, I got this moisturizing lip gloss by LA Colors. <clears throat> it's a glossy finish. Vitamin E enriched. This is in the color Coral Blush. I don't have any, like, corally color stuff. I started to get a lipstick, but they were all matte, and I don't like matte lipstick. So we'll see how this... I'm sure it's not going to be very dark, because it's a lip gloss. Well, well, well. well. Let us see here. Mm, it smells good. Boy, I put that on like about backwards. Kind of hard to tell with all my other red marks, but yeah, it looks pretty peachy. I like that. Now, about my psoriasis. So they gave me this one thing to use. It's in a big jar like this. It's salve, and when you dig it out, it's like... I can't explain the texture. You know how when you get like Rolo... No, not Rolos, but like... <clears throat> a caramel and it's kind of kind of pulls it's it's like that so I put it on the night before last and it was quite warm in here and I in the house and I slept with flannel pajamas on and I was miserable all night I was awake almost all night so I didn't use it last night I guess I'll use it tonight I don't want to but um, I was going to try to do it every other night. I highly doubt it's going to help until I get the test done and then put me on some kind of injections or a pill or something. <clears throat> Excuse me. I don't think anything's going to help. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this is only Kleenex. I'm not even going to open it. Oh, this one's heavy. Oh, I, I never saw this flavor before. I bought this. It's Old Orchard Healthy Balance White Grape and Peach, the diet. I love peach stuff, so I got that to drink. And this 
one. I know you guys are probably going, man, doesn't she ever get anything cool? Some Honestly, sometimes I go in there and there isn't anything cool. <coughs> I just don't see anything cool. All right, let's see what we got here. I bought this, which for me, a flamingo is cool. I've never seen one of these before. It's a um, luau banner, and these are uh, burlap. So luau, and it has two flamingos at the end. I thought I could hang this uh, above one of my windows in my camper, or along one wall or something. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I got some nightlight bulbs because we ran out. And I got... And you think I'd have been more excited about the flamingo. What is a haul of mine without a flamingo, right? Um, I got this little case for something special. Um, I got this really nice pad of paper. Notebook. It's got... That's my jot, you rock. 80 or 100 sheets. And I mean, they're good sized sheets. It's it's a big tablet. And uh, they're lined. So to me, I think this would be a great one like for grocery shopping lists and stuff. And it says, celebrate everything. And look what I found, guys. Flamingo ice cube tray. Yeah. That'll be the life of the party. Um, I got another one of these meme games because I think they probably are a lot of fun. We haven't played ours yet, but I'm thinking they're a lot of fun. And that's adults and kids could play. And I bought three more packs of the um, flat canvases for our vacation Bible school. So, I shouldn't have to buy too many more, I wouldn't think. But I don't know. Um, I got two more packs of hangers. It's just as cheap to buy them there than anywhere else. So every time I go, I just try to pick up a couple. Um, when I get rid of some of the clothes I can't wear, I'll have some hangers, but right now, I need it for clothes I've gotten new. And I believe this is my last bag. And there's some fun stuff in here, not much, but, um, let me set them out before they break. Alrighty, I got this Fab, um, it's like Febreze, and it's a nice big 32 ounce bottle. Trust me, after being cooked up with the dog all winter, we need some freshening. I want to smell it. Hmm, it smells good, it's, it says it's Tahitian. Um, Summer Splash. So. I th figured it was my fab. It was worth a try. And then I got two candles because I honestly thought they smelled very good. They are Old Williamsburg. This one's very mild, but it uh, is Blue Hydrangea. And this one is fresh cut lilac. And I mean, it smells exactly like fresh cut lilacs. Because when I'm out at Yogi, when people's lilacs are blooming, I used to have them in my yard. But when they're blooming out there, I people don't care. I go around and I cut big bouquets and put them in my camper. Um, I 
Ron got me a candle from um, the expensive place. Uh, I can't think of it anyway. I hate that. And I know you guys are yelling the name to me. I can feel it. Anyway, Yankee Candle. He spent quite a bit of time, it was when I was in um, therapy, and he, uh, it was just a couple stores down. So he bought me this watermelon candle. I mean, it's a huge one. It must have been like twenty nine ninety five or something like that. And I've burned it like two or three times now, and I said to him the other day, I said, I know you don't have much of a smell, I said, but usually you can smell a candle. I says, I cannot smell the candle burning at all. And I said, for that kind of money, I said, if I pay a dollar for a candle and I can't smell it, my bad. But I said, if you're spending $30 for a candle and you can't smell it, I said, I'm going to take it back and tell them I can't smell it. I want to exchange it for some other scent. I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. Because I've had Yankee candles before and they were very fragrant. So I don't know. Now, I was going to tell you, I am very close, very close. <clears throat> to 850 subscribers. And when I hit 850, I am going to have a giveaway. And let's put the box up here. Well, that doesn't help you guys much, does it? Part of the giveaway will be this game, the meme game. I know you're excited. And the notebook. And this, which will be filled with things. Um, I got one of the little bags in here that opens up to a shopping bag. And this is the diamond. I have one of these little um, macaron, macaroon, macaron, um, little things you can put pills or whatever in. I have, I have to clean off my desk, so I have room to put things. I have this very pretty shimmery pink mermaid's tail. And I have one of the very pretty gray mermaid's tail um, trinket tissues. And last but not least, and I'll probably throw in a couple extra things too, are these darling mermaid tail earrings paparazzi. They're, they have little blue crystal stones. They're so adorable. And as you know, as I've told you before, they're lead-free and nickel-free. So you don't have to worry about wearing them. I just thought those were adorable. Actually, when I saw these... I bought these first, and then I got the idea of having a giveaway. So when I hit 850, um, I will choose a name, and you will win my you will win my uh, giveaway. Now, to be eligible, you have to be a uh, uh, I was say a member, a subscriber of mine. Um, and right now, you have to be in the United States. Um, and I want you to say in your comment, um, what is your favorite color. I don't know. 
What is your favorite color? That'll work. And then I will, um, when I hit 850, um, if it happens over the weekend, or I mean, if it happens while I'm gone, I'll do it, you know, when I get back. But um, we will have the giveaway. Okay? So, I hope you're having a great night. Or we'll be having a great night. And I will see you in my next video. I love you guys a long time. And I want you to remember to stay crafty. Clean off your desk so you can. Bye, guys.